something to sippy sippy on. We're gonna hang out today. We're gonna look at a bundle of makeup. I feel like I wanted to wear a shirt to match my Shrek hat, but it's like kind of long sleeve. I don't feel like this is very like approaching summer type of attire. So I have, wait, why am I? I feel like I'm like over here. Who's the star of the show? Today. Anyway, I have a bundle of new makeup to look at with you guys today and I have all of these items for a very special purpose. You guys, I'm going to be doing a live get ready with me this weekend, this Saturday, right here on YouTube. I picked out a bunch of products from Target. Ulta is in Target now. I feel like I knew that and then like forgot it somewhere along the way where like Ulta is in Target now the same way that Sephora was in what was it JC Penny I don't think they're in there anymore now I think Sephora is in Kohl's but that's a different story for a different day it's been a really really long time since I've done a live stream and it's maybe been even longer since I've done a get ready with me and I really miss doing like makeup and beauty stuff I feel like I used to do like once a month like testing makeup or like doing a get ready with me. You guys, it's been a long time. Let's just dive right in. I have never tried out any of these products before. Uh, so basically I went on Target, I went step by step. I did like cream contour, eyeshadow, blush, yada yada. And I sorted it from like newest. I put the newest at the top. Anyway, Let's just look at it because I thought what I would do today is show you guys everything. We'll take a look at it. We'll unbox it. And then that way I can be like more prepared for the live show on Saturday. I don't have an exact time yet. So stay tuned because I'll be announcing it. I'm sure everywhere. Instagram here on a community post, uh, Snapchat, all the good all the good places. For the eyeshadow, you guys, I can't even believe Morphe came out with a collection that, oh my God, sounds perfect for my life. It's called The Sweetest Tea. I was honestly hoping that Target was gonna have the Morphe Sweetest Tea lip pencil. I think they have a lip pencil called like Sweet Tea or something as well, but they just had the palettes. By the way, this is not like sponsored or anything. I'm just, I'm just like doing this event. I bought all of these items with my own money. 35 T sweetest tea palettes. Now I think that there's a lot of pinks and purples in here, which is exciting for me because I love doing like monochromatic purple eyeshadow looks. Although that is pretty interesting for like sweet tea. I mean, I just kind of think of like neutral colors when I think of tea, but hey. Yeah, so, ooh, look at the paper. Oh my God, this is like high quality paper. Oh yeah, how did I miss this? There are a bunch of, you know, stereotypical tea colored shades in here as well. Oh my God, it's like, it's kind of more oranges. Oranges? I thought that these were like more pink shades. These are the, kind of the only pinks in here. I might be going towards purples because you guys know I love doing the purple monochromatic look. These sound so interesting to me and lately I have been loving the super dramatic lashes. Like I got these, I thought I got these from AliExpress. They are from Amazon but oh my god I think these are like 35 millimeter lashes in length or something. They're definitely extremely long. I've been loving those. So I thought that this was going to be like a similar length but it sounds so interesting. They're called Kiss Lash Drip. And I don't know if you guys can see in the packaging, this is in the style Icy. So yeah, I don't know if you'll see in the packaging or would I put them on on Saturday, but these are supposed to give you 3D drama with wet effect. I can kind of see like up close in the packaging, they do look kind of like glossy. I feel like most normal fake eyelashes are like matte but we have some glossy ones. All right, up next, I feel like this product has been floating around for a while. I'm pretty sure it was like trending on TikTok a couple of times, but I 
finally tried it. Uh, or, or I will be. I will be finally trying it. It is the e.l.f putty bronzer and I think that this was available in like four or five shades and I got I think golden days is the shade let's open it up oh okay it looks like I don't know what I was expecting like maybe a more whipped texture I'm excited to see what that putty texture is gonna feel like I kind of felt like it was a little bit difficult for me to find a cream contour. I feel like it's very much bronzer now and not so much like contouring. Up next is something I'm super excited about because it's a Tarte product and it's called Cloud Coverage. So this is part of their Shape Tape line. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I was kind of left out of the whole like Shape Tape thing. I know that that's been like kind of a super popular like concealer and stuff for a really long time. I kind of have gone like more natural with like my base foundation concealer kind of stuff than I used to be. I feel like I, most of the time I just use like Dior, um, Dior, hello, uh, Dior Air Flash. And I feel like that's like lighter than most foundations. Anyway, since it's medium buildable coverage, natural finish that looks like skin. It has a snow mushroom and avocado in it. Very exciting. I think that this is the shade I used to wear in Tarte Foundation. This is Fair Light Neutral. Ta-da, it's in a, like a little pump. I'm very excited to try it. I kind of want to swatch it, but then again, <laughs> I kind of want it to be a surprise as I do it live. Up next, something so gorgeous that I'm extremely excited to try it. So this is from the brand Winky Lux, and I feel like I had some products from them uh, back in the day. But look at this! <gasps> it kind of reminds me of that like crazy petal blush that was like trending a million years ago. So this is called the Cheeky Rose Highlighter and it's actually a cream. So I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, the very first time we use this, how much is it gonna continue to look like a rose? The packaging, so gorgeous. Um, I feel like a lot of products, they almost just look like vanity products. Do you know what I mean? Like how much are you, are you really supposed to use this? Cause A, I feel like this was one of the more expensive products that I got. It's tiny. Now maybe it's just cause it's like the way that it's formed. Like maybe if I looked at the actual like ounces, maybe it is like as much product as other cream highlighters. But you guys look at this. This looks like a thimble of product. Um, not that much at all. It does look so gorgeous. But you guys remember that like rose petal blush. I think I still have that like sitting somewhere around here. I feel like it was like a vanity product. You would like sit it out, look at it, daydream about it. But like how practical is it? I don't know. We'll find out on Saturday. Up next, I think I got a different beauty blender for the live show on Saturday, but I had to pick these up as well because oh my god, like this is one of those things it's either gonna be amazing or totally weird and impractical. It is Cube Beauty Blenders from Real Techniques Limited Edition Cubes. They're like dice, like I'm, I'm trying to understand. I kind of felt like it would be really good for contouring sometimes to get that really nice like chiseled straight edge. Ooh, they're very soft. Oh, like this one has like tire tracks on the side of it. Are you guys gonna be able to see the tire tracks, you guys? That's the only way I can describe that. Look at that, what's going on under there? Tell me your secrets, Real Technique Sponge. It's a very squishy, mushy cube. We got little cube, big cube, and uh, oh my God, it says you are capable, you are worthy, you matter, you are loved. So yeah, it's kind of like, can you guys see? It's not like perfectly cubed. And there's probably like a point to that. So you can like do, you know, more, more contouring. Anyway, up next is, what do I want to show you guys next? I have so many fun things. This is just kind of like a bonus product. You guys, I have been so in love with these. They are scrunchy, which it's not called scrunchy. 
I just learned this and it was mind blowing to me. Scunchy. Is that how I'm supposed to be pronounced? I've always called this scrunchy. These are made out of pantyhose. They're hosiery. Can I say that in, an, in a more awkward way? So this is like a limited edition springtime pastel colorway. I have been using just the black ones for like a month or so now. I usually swear by the silk hair ties. I love those. It's Slip brand silk hair ties. They are amazing, but they're so expensive. So I was like looking for an alternative hair tie um, that like, cause I, I that one's gone now. I stretch them out so fast. Sometimes the slip ones just seem like so expensive. I'm like, I'm just going through hair ties left, right? But yeah, I feel like the hosiery ones are so gentle on your hair as well. I feel like I have less breakage, less hair fallout, etc., etc. So I thought that those would be fun to get. Up next, I will go ahead and show you guys these two products at once because I kind of feel like they go hand in hand. You guys, it's been so long since I've had Benefit Professional products products and I've never tried either of these two products. So this is the Porefessional Light Primer. So it's supposed to do all the things that the old Porefessional Primer did, which I feel like for a long time, that was like one of my holy grail staple face primers. I kind of wanted to see what the light version feels like. Like I said, you know, I've been like kind of lightening it up, not using so many concealers, primers, etc, etc. But I thought that this one could be good because it's light. So like, like, you know, it's about to be like melt your face off hot here in Texas. So uh, lighter makeup is what I'm looking for. So this is also in the professional line. This is the makeup setting spray. Did you guys know that they had these? I feel like they kind of have been out forever, but I just never tried it till now. So let's just see what it smells like. I feel like I always am curious about that for setting sprays. Maybe I need to spray more. It kind of like has no scent. So also I think I accidentally got the travel size because this is tiny. Itty bitty little baby setting spray. Up next, nothing new, but a product that I swear by. Now this is pretty much something that I do almost every single day. This has been around the block and back again and around again. This is the Garnier Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. It's perfect, it's sheer, it gives you just a tiny little bit of coverage even if you don't want to do the rest of your makeup I feel like you can kind of just use this it has a little bit of caffeine in it a little bit of sheer coverage it just kind of makes you look a little bit more well rested and awake up next something I'm genuinely excited about and I, I I literally don't even know why maybe it's the yellow on the packaging I'm just drawn to it like a bug this is a Maybelline Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara I feel like it's it's been a hot minute since I've tried any kind of drugstore mascara predominantly because I swear by this. This is like honestly the best mascara probably I've ever tried in my life. It is the It Lash Blowout. It's like a collab with Dry Bar. It's just adorable. It looks like a hairbrush. It's amazing. Let's see what the applicator won. Oh, it just kind of looks really standard i cannot tell yeah oh my god it's like an old timey kind of like mascara brush i feel like you don't see that that often anymore the trend has kind of been like silicone bristle brushes let me know if i'm wrong maybe there's been like a switch back to like ye old spoolie bristle brush oh my god up next i think i just have two products from Physicians Formula. This is another brand that I have really been diving back into because they make so many products for sensitive eyes, which is me. There's a third product in here from Physicians Formula because I um, recently tried their like sensitive eye eyeliner. It's like a felt tip eyeliner pen. Oh my God, amazing. They had this new product a couple new products. Oh my God. Would you guys look at this? I'm like genuinely curious and excited to try this. I feel like a long time ago, I used to love to wear just clear mascara sometimes. They say you can use this. It's like a five in one. You can use it as a 
primer before your mascara as a mascara if you just want the like wet eyelash look which sometimes like back in the day I did do that just wear clear mascara I don't know also you can use it as a brow gel a hair gel or as a faux lash top coat like if you're trying to marry your fake lashes with your real eyelashes but look at this packaging I have another product from their diamond line as well it does have that like clear brow gel kind of smell that doesn't make any sense ignore that I said that another product that's part of their new diamond line that I was very curious about because I was trying to find something maybe similar to one of my favorite ColourPop products which is the jelly much eyeshadows like this is the nightmare before Christmas one this is the mineral wear diamond melt alec it's like melt 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 alec multi chrome shift so I got violet looks like this I hope you guys can see like the shift last physicians formula product is another new item from them they came out with a whole like butter line of products which oh my god I know the strawberry blush I think it's a blush not a highlighter I saw that trending on TikTok and now it's like sold out everywhere I missed out so this was part of that same collection matte Manoy butter eyeliner long lasting matte black I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like brush tip I feel like I've used felt tip for forever now oh my god I'm really gonna be channeling my classic makeup skills with this it's been so long since I've just had like a thick brush brush on liquid eyeliner oh my god I got this as my um cream contour I think or maybe I just wanted to get some options because I almost feel like this could be competing with the elf bronzer maybe I was thinking about this more for like nose highlight and contour and the elf putty bronzer for like cheek contour but if you know me you know I love like contouring that's like my favorite makeup step I'm always excited to try a smorgasbord of contouring products so this is the NYX wonder stick I really do overall love stick makeup products I feel like stick foundation was kind of like all the rage like a couple of years ago and now I feel like I've seen like some brands like coming back but I don't know we'll see also I wanted to try the shade called universal light there is the contour shade this looks like it's gonna be like a champagne color two products from another brand that I'm very excited to test out I think I've had products from them before but it's been a very long time and these products just looked so adorable so for the setting powder I went with beauty bakery it's called pinch of flower look at this packaging I think I got like oat oat is the translucent shade this is so so cute I'm excited to try that although admittedly powder is another product that I've kind of strayed away from I really only set like under eye area and sometimes my t-zone up next is the blush which I have been wanting to do that trend where you bring the blush like up to your under eye have you guys seen that lately so I wanted to go for like a really vivid bright pink like almost 80s blush shade that's normally what I go for so this is the snackaroons blush in the shade kiss my cheeks so get out of the package um there we go, you guys I had to like tear that um and then quite apparently hit myself in the head with the box you guys it is trying to only focus on my little shrek ear what's going on these are just like basic hair ties i always need these you guys know i love like doing the two little like top sassy mini ponies next is another brand that i have not had any products from in a really long time it's Too Faced I needed a brow product and you guys I almost literally forgot brows like I feel like brows is just something I never ever ever 
think about. And I've had another staple product that honestly for the last like probably two years I've used the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pin. I love these like microblading kind of brow products but I've been wanting to try the laminated brow look for a really long time now. So this is called the Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax from Too Faced and I think there's like a brush on the end. I got crystal clear. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a big giant product. I need instructions. You guys, how does this, does it just, I'm a funny bunny. I was like, does it ooze out of the brush is literally what I just thought. Although there was a benefit product that I really loved and it was like a gel that came out of the like brush head applicator. Hello. Hello, it's a wand. Also, you guys, I'm praying this doesn't have fibers in it. The amount of fibers. I cannot wait until that trend like fully dies. Up next is something that I feel like I've always wanted to try. Why have I never tried it? I don't know. It is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And you guys, I was so excited because a product I cannot live without is the KVD. Where did you go, my darling? KVD Locket Concealer in Whiteout. I feel like if I haven't like got enough sleep, you could just like white concealer. Your under eye is gonna look so, so bright. I got the white shade, which is just called Flat White Corrector. And then this, I got to try because way back in the day, there was a Stila color correcting palette and I loved it so much. It was like the top part of the palette was cream and the bottom part of the palette was powder, but there was like a peachy shade of concealer. And oh my God, when I used that, I felt like my makeup just looked amazing. So this is, I'm hoping going to be a good match for peach. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe the Stila was a little bit more salmon color corrector than peach. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure my hair will be dirty on Saturday. Dry shampoo, staple of my life. Even if my hair isn't dirty, I just like to give it some extra volume. So Dry Bar came out with a new dry shampoo, but this time it's a foam. I'm so excited. You guys, I like recently rediscovered Dry Bar. I forgot how much I love so many of their products. And so I'm excited to test this. Also, every single one of their products smells amazing. I'm so excited for this as well because I honestly love the Boing. I've been using the Boing Cakeless Concealer, but I guess there's a new Boing in town. This is the Boing Bright On Concealer. I got it in the shade, um, I can't say this word, Lychee, Le Lychee. I love the flavor of this. Cannot pronounce it to save my life. So cute, you guys. I love this little like pencil eraser packaging. How adorable is that? So as you guys can see, I definitely went overboard with the color correctors, concealers, and contours. Always have to have a lip balm to prep my lips. And you guys, I cannot believe that this exists. I feel like I used to talk about this product all the time. Do you guys remember when Dr. Bronner's was like, it's like somebody discovered that on Tumblr and then everybody in the world was like, Dr. Bronner's. The things that is like written on Dr. Bronner's What's even going on here? It's been so long. I feel like that was like a thing that everybody used to talk about was like, you can get Dr. Bronner's and it's like great reading material in the bathroom. Although I feel like reading material in the bathroom is just not anything anybody needs anymore because we all have phones now. Dr. Bronner's quite apparently now makes lip balms and I went with peppermint because that just sounded amazing. It smells so minty. I swear I had this exact same lipstick before, so nothing new. Although this is a new tube of it and I'm so excited to be reunited. Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Matte in the shade 1993. That's kind of where I feel like I struggled the most to get products for this live stream was trying to match a lippy 
with whatever eye shade I was gonna, that I'm gonna be doing. Oh yeah. Is it gonna go? I don't know. You guys, I just struggle with like lightening up for summer. I feel like all the things I love makeup and clothing wise, it's just a very fall, wintry color palette. I kind of almost feel like that looks more like a fall kind of lip shade. Up next is something I've not had a product from Buxom in a really long time. And I kind of thought that this was gonna be like a thicker product. It's called a power line plumping, plumping lip liner. What does that even mean? But it looks like it was gonna be like one of those kind of chunky lip liners online, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was like looking at another product. Who, who knows? Who knows? Um, I got High Def Honey. I felt like that would go well with the 1993 shade. Why was I about to smell this? It doesn't, kind of does smell. I have not used a plumping lip product in a really, really long time. Cause the last time I did, I had a crazy allergic reaction. I feel like my lips were red and swollen for days, but I was intrigued by a plumping lip liner. Also, I love when um, both lip liners and eyeliners come with some kind of like smudging utensil on the other side. Last makeup product is something that you guys, I don't know how I've been on YouTube for so long and never have I owned this before because I feel like this is like the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Everyone on YouTube has had the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. Everyone. That's what it looks like. Am I gonna be impressed? Is it? Is it like worth the, the hype? This one last thing I actually got from Sephora. I can't live without it though. So I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. It's the Derma Logica sound sleep cocoon. I put this on every night. It is so amazing. It also has a light lavender scent, so it's soothing. The last couple of things I wanted to get all new makeup brushes to test out as well. First two kits are from Eco Tools. It's been so long since I've had anything from them as well. Like I used to swear by Eco Tools eyelashes. I don't know if they make them anymore. Anyway, they had these amazing element makeup brushes, makeup brush sets. Listen to how pleasant this sounds. Wind kissed finish kit. Contouring, blush. What's this little baby one for? I don't know. I've said this forever and ever though. I never use makeup brushes like properly. I just like do what I like, what feels good. I don't feel like I use like the proper brush for the proper step. Uh, this is also an elements kit and this is called the Supernatural Face Kit. So you know I could not pass this up because Supernatural, I'm just thinking like ghosts and stuff. I thought this one would be nice for the MAC product. Obviously this one you can blend with, but you guys, I feel like I just cannot do makeup without like seven eye makeup brushes. This is the other eye brushes that I got from Real Techniques. And these are just like so pretty and so weird. This is called the I Love Drama Set. It feels like almost like a rubberized grip on it. Oh, and how kind of them. They even like print the purposes for the brushes on the back of the brushes. I thought the, um, you know, the lash definer would help us like with the false lashes as well. So that's it, you guys, basket empty. I'm so excited. I hope you guys will be too. I know this video has been so, so long. I kind of realized I did not, like I, I did not realize I bought so many things, but I was literally trying to get all new products so we could just do a full face of first impressions. So be sure and check out when I'm gonna do the live stream this weekend on Saturday. And I hope you guys will be there to hang out with me. I'm really looking forward to it. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon 